everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today we are looking at this cushion here. Remember, we made the squares and then in another video I showed you how to put them together and I told you it would be for my project where I am yarn bombing all my cushions in my sitting room and believe you me, I have quite a few cushions. Um, so this is what it what it ended up being and I did a, a nice little sort of um, parchment border going around because I now have decided which cushion it is going to cover so this one it's a square one so I made my flowery um, cover here a little bit bigger by doing a few more rounds but that's fine I don't mind that obviously and then I now have to decide on the back of the cushion and I said it would be something with these colours here. So indeed, yes, I have come up with this. And I am really liking this. I like the, the way the colours follow. Uh, and I'm putting the green in, in each time. So I'm quite chuffed with this. Now the way I did it, I here, I counted the third row. Because I am going to do two rows of parchment around the back as well. So I counted the third row and that was 60 or 60 change or 20 clusters. So I made sure here at the bottom that I had 20 clusters as well by chaining 60, then doing three for your first double crochet. And then you skip those three and then you skip two and then you do your cluster and so on. Then at the end of the row, you end with a double crochet as well. But you then begin with a cluster and you end with a cluster. Okay, and when you end, you then in the last pull through, you take your next color into your work. So you have all your ends on one side because you're doing up and down. So this is what I'm doing. As you can see, yes, I haven't put in my ends yet. That will be a little bit of a job later on, but that's okay because it's only a little project. It's not going to, um, you know, sort of take long to do that. So as you can see, let me just put it nicely. I've only done half of it yet, so I've got to do yet the other half and then I will be back to show you how we are going to put this together. So hopefully that will be soon. I'll see you in a few moments. So I am back and I have turned this here into a square. So it is exactly the same size on either side. So if you fold it in half, you've got a perfect triangle. So this now is going to go at the back of this cushion here. And I have started with the parchment to go round. So what I did here, I just did the last um, stitch then changed colour as usual and I've just been going round as usual. I did two corners or I did two clusters for the corner here and what I did is I made sure that I had the same amount of clusters as I have in the penultimate row here. So making sure that that is now going to tally up, then if I do another row on this one, so I do a second parchment row, it should all uh, work out. So what I am doing, obviously this here, I've just um, treated that as a normal row. Then at the end here, around that last double crochet here, I did the corner. And then here I put my clusters around that single double crochet that I have at the end of the round of the row sorry and then once again here I made a corner and then straight away here I did the clusters in between the clusters as normal and then now we'll just continue for a little while and then I will show you how I am going to so or oh, crochet this together better. I have now got quite a few of my cushions already um, <laughs> yarn bombed. My sitting room is looking different. Uh, I have already 
put them in the sofa so it's looking nice and I will put a picture at the end <laughs> as well to tell you you know to show you where I'm at at the moment there will be a big reveal uh, <laughs> eventually when I've done all my cushions so <laughs> we'll see when that is <laughs> okay so I've done my corner here three uh, um, double crochets, two chains and three double crochets and I've now gone on to the side again where I am going to put my um, my clusters around that double crochet that there is on its own. Now there's no need to start making things more difficult than it is so I just thought right if I do that and it tallies up then I'm happy and it did so that's what I am doing. So I'm hoping that with having two sides, obviously two different sides uh, to my cushions, that I will have double the amount of cushion designs, <laughs> of course. Um, but I have really liked doing um, these up to now. You know, this one particularly, because I've always wanted to try this one. Now, okay, yes, I have kept it quite simple but of course you know sometimes simple is is most effective I am thinking about doing a corner to corner one as well because that would be uh, an interesting one to do as well and the, the, the advantage with doing them for a cushion cover is that you're working small so you're making a small uh, you know like a a cover obviously you're making it small and it goes quite quickly but you've had a go at it and then if you do decide to turn it into a blanket or anything else or a lap blanket or a cot blanket then at least you've had a little go you know what it's like and you can then um, start you know on on the bigger project having done your practice piece almost so you could treat making the cushion covers as practice pieces and you wouldn't be, you know, just not knowing what to do with them. See, there is method to my madness. <laughs> and I am nearly there. I am now going to continue and I'm going to do a second row and I will be back to show you how to put it together. I have now done my two rounds of granny clusters and I have 21 clusters on each side and also on the outside of this piece here so I know they are going to tally up when I put them together so I am now going to put this one against this one here hold them together so I'm putting them together uh, right sides out, wrong sides in. So I'm only really worried about the flowers, so make sure they are on the outside. And I'm going to stand, um, crochet them together with a um, single crochet because I like that edge. I've just done my slip stitch here on my last stitch here. I'm going to do a chain, and now I am going to go underneath that double crochet I'm going to pick up the back loop of that one and then I am going to find on the other side on the other piece that same double crochet so not the corner but the one behind it and I'm going to pick up what to me now looks like the front loop okay so both those loops have been picked up and I am now going to pull up a loop through those both uh, V's and do a single crochet and this is how I am going to crochet my two sides together and you can check to make sure that you are picking up the right stitches by making sure that for example each time you do the first one of a cluster you check to see that the, it's also the first one of that cluster on the other side so making sure you tally up your clusters and 
this always takes a little bit this is always quite fiddly because you're working with two parts and you have to sort of sew them together and it's picking up but it's quite therapeutic because you know that you are actually you know creating something now before we just made panels but now we're actually making the cover now I suggest you do three sides then you insert the cushion and yeah I was doing my little check there <laughs> and um, you then sew up the last side with the cushion in it because it is a little bit more cumbersome uh, if the cushion is in it I have now just made it to my corner here I have picked up in those two chains that we have done I have picked up in the first one I've just picked up the two V's like we normally do so the inner loops and in the second one I did the same but I did three single crochets in there just so that it would be a nice flat corner so I will continue on and this way doing your corners this way makes that you have a nice flat corner just doing a little check to make sure that it is right there we go so I will see you when I am ready to insert my cushion I have now done my third corner I'm about to do my fourth side. I have inserted my cushion. I am just keeping my, my covers on in case my husband says, no more crochet, and then uh, <laughs> I can take them off again. But that's hopefully not going to happen. Um, and I am just about to sort of do the last bit here. And hopefully that won't take me too long at all. And then I will have a finished cushion so you will have to just stick around to see some of the pictures and to see it in my sofa right so I will see you in a moment when I finish this woohoo I have finished my fourth side and my cushion has been put together and shall we go and have a look to see what it looks like in the sofa come along So here we are, we are in my living room and here are the cushions I have made up to now. I am really liking this project because it's making, you know, new cushions basically. So yeah, that's the front and then this is the back. I like that one as well. There's that granny square cushion which has a different back obviously as well and then here the starburst one which has the rectangular background and there is the bolster cushion as well i have videos for all these cushions so do you, do please go and look for them and you can find out how i made them i do hope to make others soon i have plans so you will find some more videos soon on how i am doing all the other cushions as well I know I'm going for a multicolored look, but that's okay. So here we are, that's the daisy cushion, and this is the background. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.